Hi, I'm Heather the Hygienist with Simply Silver Mouthwash, and today we are continuing our series on how to have a healthy mouth. We're going to discuss using a water pick. I know a lot of people are scared of it, or they buy it, they don't know how to use it, and it ends up underneath their bathroom sink. So I want to show you how to use it. It is an excellent tool for helping the food and bacteria get out from the pockets, from underneath bridges, and especially if your children are in braces, it's really crucial that they get a water pick to be able to clean those brackets so they don't have ugly white spots on their teeth when all of the brackets are removed. So what you would want to do is you would want to fill it up. Now, for demonstration purposes, I only put 15 ounces of water in there, but if you're going to do your whole mouth, you probably would want to fill up to 35 ounces. I've heard people say that they put bleach in their water before. Please never do that. You do not want to ever put bleach in your water. I don't care if it's even a drop. Um, I do about a capful of the Simply Silver mouthwash. That is very sufficient for keeping the bacteria count down in your mouth. If you don't have um, mercury amalgam fillings in your mouth, you could do one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide. But if you have silver fillings, you absolutely don't want to use hydrogen peroxide because hydrogen peroxide can leach the mercury into your system and you don't want to do that. So after you've filled up your reservoir, there is a switch on the side that's on or off and I'm just going to demonstrate how to use it um, without actually putting it in my mouth so I don't get water all over the place. But it comes with different tips. This tip right here is a general purpose tip and then all you would do to get it out is you would push down and you would pull it out. And then this tip here, this one is for pockets. If you have those fours, fives, and six, six millimeter pockets like we talked about, you would be putting this tip on. Now, this tip here is your tongue scraper. That would be the last thing if you like to use an apparatus to clean your tongue, that would be the one to use. But for now, I'm just gonna use the general tip and I'm just gonna place it in, if I can get it in here. And then I'm going to release and now it's secure. The power level is this switch here. I have it on the lowest setting but you could turn it all the way up if you wanted to high. Now mine is already filling with water here but how you would use a water pick is you always want to point down at that gum tissue. So we're just going to pretend I'm blasting away and you would point down and you would use about, mm, I would say four to eight seconds going back and forth along the gum line. And you would do the same thing on these back molars here. I would say four to eight seconds on these last four teeth that you have in your mouth. And then when you get to the front, really three seconds is fine. Unless you had an area that you were specifically working on. And you would just keep pointing down with that jet of water and you would continue all the way around now, the trick in using a water pick is really closing down. What you would want to do is you would put it in your mouth, you would close your mouth over it, because if not, if you're standing there and you have your mouth open, it is going to spray all over your mirror and your significant other will hate you. So you want to make sure that you close your mouth down on it. Now, you're going to open up every 10 or so seconds just to let the water fall out of your mouth. That is the trick in using a water pick. It's just closing down on it, opening your mouth up to release the water, and you're gonna go by feel. This button here, that is what stops the jet of water. So you would wanna push that button so that way the water is not continually spraying on your teeth. So you could just expectorate the water as needed. So I would say every 10 or sec 10 seconds or so just depends on how quickly your mouth is filling up with the water and what setting that you have it on. Now once the reservoir is completely drained, it's really important to keep your finger on it and let it dry out. You want the line to get air in here. If water stays in the lines, you get what's called a biofilm in there and it's really nasty, filled with bacteria and it can do more harm than good. So you want to make sure you just keep your finger on it to dry out the line. Once a week, you would have to do maybe a quarter cup of a vinegar solution, fill the reservoir all the way up, and you would drain it all out, 
and again keep your finger on it to make sure you're drying out the line. That way your water pick would last you a very long time. I know that there are some different models. There is one I think that's like a portable version that people use while in the shower, but you're constantly having to fill up the water. So it just depends on what works for you. Personally, I don't like tap water. That's just me. I like either distilled or some form of filtered water to be used because again, think about what we're putting into our bodies and unfortunately much of our tap water is fluoridated so I try and stay away from it as much as possible. But that is your prerogative and that is just my suggestion. So um, other than that, the water pick is such a great tool. Just remember to keep the tip always pointed down and to um, dry out your lines every single time that you need it. Thanks so much and hopefully you'll stay tuned for our next section.